What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Denver Broncos Franchise. This is episode 29, I want to say. Uh, I forget every single time I hit record. But last episode, we played the Falcons, and unfortunately, we lost 34-19, to which just proves this team still has a long way to go. Um, the offense, Drew Locke, is he going to be that franchise quarterback? We don't know. He has very good deep, good medium, just okay short. Um, good speed, decent throw power. Philip Lindsay did get injured last episode, so he's going to be out for four weeks. So that means Reggie Dunbar is going to be the lead back whose development is hidden at the moment. And this game should um, come out and show um, his development. He should get more than 11 snaps. So right now, Miles Jack, I've been wanting to do this for a little bit now. And we're going to change his number because um, 44 is retired, which I checked before and it just slipped that it was retired. Um, who's 54? I want him to play 54 or half 54. Um, I want him to have 54 because as a Bears fan, Brian Urlacher is one of my favorite players to watch and he's just amazing at the position. And they play the same position, so I'm saying, hey, let's have him as 54 as they're both very good inside linebackers. They have Ryan Tannehill as quarterback. I mean, his accuracies aren't that bad. Mason Rudolph behind him. Who's, again, their accuracies aren't that bad. So we re-signed Tedrick Thompson. Um, pretty cheap, actually. Like, three mil a year. For only two years. He may not even be the starter next year. Alright, let's get in this game with the Steelers. The 1-6 in six Steelers in Pittsburgh. Let's get going. Alrighty, Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Puh. I want to get this game going. I want to have some fun in this game. I want to run the ball. I want to pass the ball. This secondary is not as good as a uh, Falcon secondary. I don't think this defense is as good as a de secondary or the whole defense of the Falcons. London George, they missed a face pass there. But that was a good return there. 37 yard line sends up good field position for Drew Locke. And hopefully, we can get 11 touches or 11 snaps for um, Dunbar. As Cortland Sutton fakes out Joe Hayden, he turns the speed up the field and he's gone. That's a 63-yard touchdown pass. Cortland Sutton on the curl route just f against the blitz, too, so there's no deep safety to, to tackle. And that's a quick score for the Broncos' offense. Cortland Sutton, 63 yards to the house. It's a nice hit there by Tedrick Thompson. But that screenplay kind of got us there. I, I ain't going to lie. They had us in the first half. There's Miles Jack. Behind the line. Alright, I'm going to go to coaching adjustments. I'm going to put by overall for quarterback. Because I want Chris Harris. On Juju Smith-Schuster. a good play there. That's Des Bryant who's back with another team. Chris Harris makes a tackle. They're getting big chunk plays on us. And we can't have that. There we go. That's William Holloway behind the line. I'm hoping he can get pressure. He can get, you know, be a difference maker as our first pick in this entire um, uh, series here.
As that's straight to Miles Jack. And he's going to go the distance. New number, same Miles Jack. I wasn't even using him there either. It's a booth review on what? That I stepped out of bounds, maybe? That's the only thing I can see. What? Wait a second. So they, he threw the ball. It was intercepted. Did he step out of bounds? No, he's a, no. Not even out of bounds. And now they're saying the Broncos need to punt the ball. What? I mean, that's a great putt nonetheless, but Madden just glitched out bad there. That was a interception that was not. Did that count is my question? Did the interception count? Nope. So Miles Jack got robbed of an interception and a touchdown. As there he is. It looks like he's angry. Ha ha Clinton Dix behind the line too. We've been blitzing a lot lately and it's been working out for the most part. No block, and that is a booming punt. That is an 80 yard punt there. And he brings it back for 20, a 20 yard return, a 16 yard return. That was a crazy long punt. It's Emmanuel Hall, a good catch. There's another flag though. Offense. DeMar Dotson again, Ron Leary. He's had four holding calls the last two games. I believe he had three of them last. There's a face mask on William Holloway. Miles Jack can't make the tackle, but Von Miller does tackle James Conner. It's going to be third and one. Play, except it's just reverse. We are blitzing and we're still not getting the tackles. James Conner is having a good game. Back of the end zone, that's incomplete. There is, he did, he stepped out. He had to have stepped out. Let's challenge that. You can't challenge it? Oh my God, that is so close. Dude, his foot's on the line. His foot, okay, it's not on the line. Jeez. We're gonna lose to a one and six team. It's a seven, seven game. Ron Leary gave up that sack there. End of the first quarter, and it's a tie game. Noah Fant drops it, thrown perfectly to him. All the incompletions of Drew Locke right now are drops. All right. Dunbar, four yards there. Jason Pierre-Paul is thick. He'd be good. All right, we're going to do that.
That should have been caught. Cortland Sutton. There's been so many drops in this game. That should have been caught. That was a perfectly thrown ball. And Deshaun Hamilton tackled, made the tackle, and he's injured. He should have caught that. Fumble? They, he's injured now. So they only have one quarterback on roster that's healthy now. It's Mason Rudolph coming in. The potential successor to Big Ben, who retired last year. And that's going to be out of bounds. So we stop him at least. Um, I don't know how serious Tannehill's injury is going to be. He dropped that one too. He's just not good in traffic. Like any kind of traffic is just not good. He dropped that one again. He's going to set the record for most drops in a game. Intercepted there by Sean Davis. Just a bad play. Drew Lock shouldn't have thrown it, but he did. So Tannehill is going to be out for the game. So is Des Bryant. So Mason Rudolph, the second year, third year player actually. is going to be the starting quarterback for the time being. Broken up a haha -ha Clinton Dix. I thought he was going to run. Dunbar gets the juke. It's 6 7 on that one. Juke's Ronald Darby, but can't get the first down. Almost did, though. And Drew Locke just missed that one. That is his fault completely. He had a wide open Philip Dorsett. Not a whole lot of pressure. That's just Drew Locke's fault. Punt is up. It's going to be probably a touchback. Yes, it is. Von Miller on the sack, finally. His first sack of the game. And our, our defense stops him. Philip Dorsett can't catch it. Had maybe a step on the defender, but nothing there. Cortland Sutton drops that one. He has dropped so many balls today. Jalen Samuels is so elusive. Jalen Samuels is just tearing our defense up. He doesn't have a whole lot of yards or yards per carry. But he's just breaking tackles. Making the most of everything. Like, look at this. Four yards per carry. 47 yards. Quincy Wilson at least knocks that one away. He could have probably jumped it and had an interception, but that's fine. There's Von Miller on the sack. It's third sack of the game again. Hey, Javier Evans got in the game. Made a tackle. Decent coverage. Wasn't bad. Wasn't good. Oh, it's no good. That was short. Yeah. That is short. Hey, that's Cortland Sutton again, finally making some catches. Decent run there. What is that? Six yards. As Reggie Jumbar is injured. Grabbing at his shoulder, it looks like. Ricky Seals-Jones, good catch. 
And Reggie Dunbar, Brood Sertum should be back next game. Cortland Sutton again, nice catch. He's just kind of abusing Joe Hayden over there. As he gets the touchdown catch. I think that's his first in uh, honestly like six games. Royce Freeman with the best run of the day. Tackled by Danny Trevathan, the former Bronco. Some running back now. As Cortland Sutton breaks the tackle. And Cortland Sutton is gone for another long touchdown on the slant route. That's the same play Tannehill got injured on too. And they're going to run it. Oh, they both wanted to catch it, but then they were like, nah, you have it. They're like, nah, nah, you have it. Nah, nah, for real, you have it. Oh, my, <coughs> my voice is just giving out mid-video. What is going on here? That's overthrown. That's going to be fourth down and three. Cortland Sutton again. He's having a very good game. That puts him over 10 catches, and that puts him over 200 yards. That's a pass interference? That is a pass interference. Terrell Edmonds. That is bad. Badly thrown ball. Nope. I'm not giving up another 98-yard touchdown. <laughs> I think I did that last year. In, in the last season. I think I did that. I'm not sure which game it was, but I thought we gave up a long touchdown. In that same exact situation. William Holloway, I believe, gets his first sack. It's a half a sack, but it's a sack. That's a face mask on top of a 30-yard gain. They're going to have the ball at like the 50-yard line almost. Our safeties are decent in man and zone. They have good cornerbacks. Well, I guess besides Quincy Wilson. Because Quincy Wilson bad. Because he just gave up a touchdown to Aguilar. Cortland Sutton there, nine yards. Cortland Sutton, 250 yards receiving. That's all you need to know. Another good catch by Cortland Sutton. He's over 750 on the year now. He was on pace for just over a thousand yards. But now he's going to be almost on pace for 1,200 at this point. That's going to be a face mask too. So Royce Freeman. That's a touchdown for Royce Freeman. James Conner gets 16, but he is injured, so that's going to waste one of their timeouts. He's grabbing at his knee, so that's potentially, I mean, that is bad for the Steelers. That's going to be intercepted by Mackenzie Alexander. He picked it off, and he wasn't even covering that guy. That was a good interception there. Cortland Sutton caught it. He actually caught that one. That was a vicious hit, too.
It's intercepted. And it's going the other way. We tried forcing it to Cortland Sutton just to get the first down, and that's picked off after it's bobbled. Bad play by Drew Locke. And a technically a drop by Cortland Sutton. It hit him in the hands. That was a bust in the coverage. Holy shit. That's Von Miller there for his fifth sack. He caught it for a second, but incomplete. Five tackles for loss for Miles Jack. Five sacks for Von Miller. Half a sack for Chubb and Holloway. Holloway finally got, you know, a sack. A breakout player, Miles Jack. So we need to get Miles Jack two interceptions, a four, two forced fumbles, two tackles for loss in this game. Um, and then we'll have a superstar. It's crazy. He's already pretty much is a superstar. Alrighty, so Reggie Dunbar has star development. He's ready to go for this week. So yeah, hopefully we can get Miles Jack this superstar development. It would be very nice. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you did and I'll see you guys in the next video.